think there's anything cuter than a bunch of Jersey calves. I've never seen them like this until the other day when we came out and looked at this cow. goats from the other side of this gate in there. Everyone's okay. We got our new Jersey cow. Picked her up today as you saw in the video. Her name she comes with is Wallace. And this is a little heifer calf over on this side. And then we decided to go ahead and get this steer and bring him along. This is not her calf, but our plan is to get him to nurse on her so both calves will be on her. It's a little bit of a challenge, but we'd been going back and forth and trying to decide. We had pretty much decided against it, and then we said, you know what, let's do it. And so we brought him along as well. Cows always get dirty in trailers because they poop all over and rub up against the sides. We're just letting them kind of chill out down here, get used to being in here. We'll leave them in the barn at least until tomorrow to kind of get used to being here and calm down before we let them out in the fence. We also want to keep this calf, the steer, real close to her. We've got to watch this process very closely and may need to get real hands-on in it and getting him to nurse on her. The question is not will he nurse on her, of course he will. The question is will she let him nurse? And we already actually saw him in the trailer nurse a little bit, which is, that's encouraging. And she didn't pick him off. Sometimes it is hard to get calves to nurse on different moments, but we already knew that this calf kind of tried to nurse on every moment around, so we knew that that wasn't going to be the problem. How does that feel having a cow again? It feels right. Good. Feels good. Um, I do think that learning the new routine with new animals, you know, it stresses the animals to be moved, but it also stresses the new animals, you know, that have to get used to new creatures, and then it stresses us not nearly as much, but, you know, it just takes time to learn the new routine. But I'm really excited. I just feel so blessed that we found a grass-fed jersey so close by. Such a blessing. She didn't want me to take from me. It was basically a year ago that our last milk cow died. And we've been looking forward to this day. People ask us over and over, when are you going to get a milk cow? 
But we always, we never were impatient for the day to come, but I do feel like this is the right cow at the right time for us. Yeah, it definitely, definitely seems that way. I feel like in some ways we know a lot more than we knew then. In some ways we still have so much to learn about cows. And it's, it's intimidating, honestly, just not, not keeping a cow, but as health problems arise, it's intimidating. Um, but I'm pretty confident that we're going into it as um, just with a, in many ways, the kind of a better footing in, I wouldn't say a better footing in animal care, but kind of in where we're at in our lives right now to just do a really fine job with this cow. And her name is not Wallace anymore. It is Alice. We wanted to keep it similar, but I really, I don't like changing animals' names, but in this instance, I really wanted to. So. They don't care if we change her name? No. They don't care. She even said, change your name if you want. Folks, thanks for joining us. We'll let you know how things are going. Keep you updated. Very soon as we start milking and how the steer calf is taking to nursing on a new mama. How butter beans, yeah, do. And so we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.